Well played, Lightroom. Well played. Gosh, you know, I quit using Lightroom years ago because I felt like they were a little bit stagnant. They weren't innovating, and I felt like they were just kind of resting on their laurels. But uh, as you know, as a Lightroom user, they have not been resting on their laurels in the last few years. I mean, they've added crazy amounts of really fantastic masking tools. And then just recently, they pretty much blew everyone away with the new point color option here in the what's called color mixer in Lightroom. Honestly, it's, it's mind-blowing. The amount of control that you have over color is insane and off the charts and fantastic because I've used HSL for years in different products, including Lightroom, and you get some nice color control, but you don't really get that pinpoint accuracy that now you have. And so I want to show you how you can use that to really amp up the colors and control them specifically in a very targeted manner in Lightroom because it's a game changer. It really is. So I've got this photo. If you look at the before and the after, you can see that, of course, I've brightened the photo here in uh, the basic panel. I lifted it about one stop. I put on the highlights, lifted the shadows, and that's it. I mean, that's what the photo did. I went from that to that. And what I want to do, and this is a great example of how you can really dial in colors with what's in this color mixer and called point color. Now on the mixer side, you still got HSL, which is kind of the traditional stuff, but I want to really focus in on point color because I'm going to close these menus. By the way, these little triangles indicate that there's a drop down, and so you can always open those if you want to. But point color, as the name implies, you kind of point at a color and then you have massive amounts of control over it. And so of course, the pointer is a dropper, so you can sample spot color. You can click there, and the first thing I want to do is come over here, and I want to uh, add more color contrast. I want to bump up a little bit of the vibrance or saturation, maybe change the hues a little bit, but I want to be targeted and specific, and that's what this tool does so well. So you just come in here, and as you hover with your eyedropper, you can see it gives you a little zoomed-in look, and I'm going to say, all right, how about that kind of yellowy color, and it automatically targets it. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop that down. You've got really two options here that essentially do the same thing. This section here is going to be both your hue and your saturation, this big uh, box. And this narrow one is the luminance. Now you can see that there's a dot there. As you start to grab this and move the dot, they separate. There's a little dot. That little dot is the original color that you pinpointed. This larger dot, the one that you move around, as you can see, as I move it around, the hue and the saturation adjust. So this is as I said, the hue and the saturation box, whereas luminance is over here, and it has the same thing. The luminance of the color that I selected is that small dot, that stays the same, and this is the one that I can adjust by moving around. So you can either do it in these boxes, or you can do it with the sliders. It really doesn't matter. The result is the same, as you can see here, as I move this around, my hue and shift are adjusting, and as I move this up and down, my luminance is adjusting. You'll also notice that you'll have a swatch here. You can always right click and delete swatch to get rid of it. Start over if you want to. You can always double click on point color to kind of erase everything. But I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna grab this yellow. And what I wanna do is I want to luminance shift. In other words, I wanna change the luminance value. I wanna brighten that. And you can see how that is brightening those yellows and making them a little bit more visible because it was highly in shadow. I don't want to lose all the shadow. I like that color contrast of the darker greens with the brighter yellows, but the brighter yellows weren't that bright. So I want to do that. I want to maybe give them a little bit of bump in saturation, and perhaps I want to shift the hue a little bit to make them a little bit more golden. You can see as I move these sliders, it's also moving around here in these two boxes. So that's how that works. It's incredibly powerful and useful, but the best part is, of course, that you can also refine this. So I'm going to go in and click Sample Spot Color again, and this time I want to work on these oranges over here because they were slightly impacted by what I did with that first color, but I want to come over here, pick that color, and now I've got a new swatch. That's this second one. You can always go back and click on that first one to further refine that if you want. But I'm going to go back over here to this second one. And this is where I want to talk about range. And of course, range has a drop down, but you can click on visualize range. And it basically turns your photo black and white, except for the range of colors being impacted by what, by what you've just selected with the eyedropper. Now, if I increase range, I'm going to have more of that color and those colors around it be impacted. You can see I've got a white in that big box, both the 
the hue and saturation box, the big one, as well as in the smaller box, which is the narrow strip for luminance. You can see I've got a broader range. As I drag this to the left, you can see that the areas around the dot that is selected are shrinking, which means I'm uh, reducing the range of color that's impacted. And that is something I want to do here. So you get that nice visual as long as you're holding the mouse down and moving that around. You can do that with visualize range. As soon as you let go, it goes back to showing you. But you can also come in and target it even more specifically. And this is what I'm talking about. It's fantastic. I love this stuff because I like color so much and I like kind of adjusting colors and controlling colors and the amount of control that you have in color with this point color tool, it's kind of mind blowing, honestly. So you've got a hue range, a saturation range, and a luminance range for the color that is selected. So again, I'm on this brighter orange. And so you might look at it and say, okay, all these other oranges are being selected. So maybe what I want to do is reduce the, uh, the yellows here and maybe pull that back a little bit and maybe slide this over. So if you use some of the other masking tools, you, you'll be familiar with these things. The left and right little uh, handles here, they control that range. And then these little triangles on the bottom control the fade. And so you can dial this in pretty specifically. Just be careful that having a nice fade, actually, uh, as you can see, again, that box turns white and it's showing you what's happening. Uh, you can kind of see what's happening with the fade there, both visually on the photo as well as in the little box there. So I can dial that in pretty specifically to that hue. I could adjust saturation and luminance as well if I wanted to. I'll turn off visualize range and maybe what I want to do is bump up the saturation of just that color because I just got really targeted with it and perhaps I want to lift the luminance as well. So that's looking pretty sweet honestly. If you look at the before and the after I'm really targeting these colors pretty specifically and being able to dial them in which I love. Speaking of dialing things in I want to dial in a little bit more contrast here and that's where the greens come in. So I'm going to sample spot color and I'm going to go grab these greens and I'm going to click right there. Again, this box represents the range of colors that are uh, both the color you selected as well as colors that are kind of near it. And this range section down here allows you to dial that in as we talked about. I'm going to close that and all I really want to do here is take those greens and drop the luminance a little bit because uh, one of the nice things about the original photo, which I can show you, is uh, the shadow and the light. There's a little pocket of light and a couple of those areas of yellow, but I like the the darkness in the greens. I just wanted to bring the, the brighter colors, the warmer tones around them more to life, which is what I'm doing. So in order to do that, I'm shifting the luminance of these greens in order to kind of darken those areas. And I'll just go negative 99, just go all the way here uh, and create a little bit more color contrast. That's going to make these yellows pop out even more. So if I show you before, there it is. That's just a luminance shift on this green specific color that I selected. And after quite a bit more uh, color contrast, and maybe that's a little too much. Maybe I'll pull that down a little bit. But again, this is a way to, I'm going to use the word dodge and burn uh, or the term dodge and burn. It's kind of like dodging and burning because I'm adjusting the brightness value of all these colors. So I'm kind of dodging and burning colors. Uh, in a very targeted way. So brightened the yellow, brighten that orange, darken the green. It's a way to really control the, um, obviously the saturation and the hue, but also of course the luminance value for these, which gives you better color contrast. So I'm pretty excited about that. One other thing I might do here is click in the blues and maybe I'll come in here and give that a little bit more saturation, maybe a tiny luminance shift just to create a little bit more color contrast in that overall in that sky. But if you look at what point color has done for me in this photo, there it is before. And that was after some basic adjustments in basic, which was just exposure, highlights and shadows, just to balance it out a little bit. And with color mixer, I went from that to that. So you can see how this tool is giving you this massive targeted, really fine control over colors. And that's why I said it's a game changer. That's why it really blew everyone away because this kind of control is just incredibly powerful and certainly useful as well. Now I could come in and do more things. I could pick some more of these colors, darken them. I could pick some of these colors, brighten them. I think you get the point. I just wanted to walk through and show you how 
you can use either these boxes here or these sliders to essentially just control the hue, the saturation, and the luminance of very specific colors. And then you can come into this range section and dial it in very specifically, both with this range slider, but also with the three individual range sliders for hue, saturation, and luminance. It's mind blowing, my friends. It's incredible. It's powerful. I love it. That's what this update for Lightroom has done. And I just think that they've put everybody in the industry on notice that said, hey, we're serious about this stuff because this is a game changing kind of product update. I'm super excited about it. I'll be using it more and more. If you want to see more videos about these kind of things in Lightroom, let me know down below. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll be back soon because there's a lot more in Lightroom that I still want to cover. But I had to get this video out simply because this stuff is so cool. Thanks for watching, my friends. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. And until next time, adios.